Oh yes. What a day. What a Wednesday. Hey Stiletto. What a day. Hello, how are you? I'm, you know, I'm good. Living the, uh, living the life. Right? Semi-charmed kind of life. <laughs> as they say. As the saying goes. Yeah, I'm good though. I'm just, you know, enjoying life, enjoying the festivities it offers. You know, whatever that's supposed to mean. Mm -hmm. What is life, Stiletto? What's your definition of life? Um, I sh I what is life? I should ask this once in a while. It's um, it's taking whatever ha you have around you and squeeze the life out of it, drop by drop. Very good. Yeah. Be a, a taker. Be more of a taker is what I'm saying. I'm encouraging this. All right. Actually, I was waiting for someone to kind of get me into this, but I actually have a rant I can get on to about that. All right. Let's do this. About giving, giving more than taking. Mm -hmm. Like there's that stupid fuck base that like no one knows of, but everyone wants to be into that Gary V guy who like everyone has these quotes from. Like why do right. people take quotes from people no one's have, no one's heard of? Like well, I don't understand that. I I don't get that. <laughs> but anyways, his thing is like give more than you take, and I I do you know I I I am I am open to that. Right. Because what if? All right. So I have I am very. I call I. But I'm, I'm a giver. See, I give a lot, but I have to learn the balance of you. Sometimes a giver has to take some. See, I have a little bit of problem with this. It's like, I do this a lot with, I can play people like, at least I think I can play people like a fiddle. Like if I want to see how things play out. Right. I'm, I'm going to be very cryptic this episode. I don't want to, I don't want to be too, un, I can, un, I can uncrypt, I can decrypt myself eventually, but just not right now. Okay. But it's like. There's like I think of it like almost like there's like a douchebag lottery. Like, do you? Like, I had this like a lot of people I dated where I, like, kept giving and giving and like. Like I don't want to be you. You know I can't stomach being used. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But like, am I really missing out from like those times I. Don't give. You know what I mean? Like, what if like it, I, I I call I was thinking about this. Like, is it the douchebag lottery? Like, do I. Do I go into that mindset giving more than I or you know giving more than I I take from the but world? But I think you do that already without you even realizing it. No, 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 I do. But like I I do too. Like I get I'm a giver. I get I like to help people like you. You like to help people. You like to, you know, assist people when they're dumb about gadgets. Hi. Like I had but, a uh like I had a friend like this. His name is 8bit. 8bit Chris, we'll call him. That's his, that was his name. Oh, uh, and he he, that was the douchebag lottery right there because he was like the popular kid, mm -hmm. like he he came in from a different school, like you know it's kind of like it was like all this MySpace fame kind of thing, all right, this bullshit right. repeats over and over again. You know I was really friends with him, so I gave a lot into that relationship, and even as I was giving like into the friendship, I knew he was taking from me. Like you know I would give him rides home and stuff, but then you know I would get to hang out with him. You know yeah. he'd come home, and, but then he'd get to smoke my weed. So again, it was always more me giving than him take. You know yes. than me taking, yeah. no matter what it was. I hear you. And he went around and used all my friends and stuff. And I'm just like, do it no, because mm -hmm. I could have, I could have at the time. I, there was a, there was an opening where a friend of mine was doing the thing too. She was playing the douchebag lottery as she always did. Mm -hmm. Ayla, oh, I loved Ayla. She was so cute. She had a little bit of a lazy eye, but she was gorgeous. Killer body, oh, Ayla. I'm gonna give Ayla a call. Let's go. Let's see how Ayla's let's doing. Go. She was yeah, a, she, what she up to? But she was a disaster, and she did the same thing that I, I used to do, and she would she kept giving to Chris and stuff, and then you know she became friends again. Mm -hmm. But then she, and at the end of it, she just realized she's like, "Oh fuck, you're right, Ryan. He just used me." Mm -hmm. And then another kid like I dated did the same thing too. But I think everybody uses each other to a certain degree. Like, I had someone I, I, like, you know, like, you, like, want, like, this, you know, you, it's always, like, someone in high school. It doesn't mean they're popular. You just, like, want them. It's, like, that mm -hmm. person. Yeah, exactly. The unattainable. So, I had the un unattainable. I wanted right. the unattainable. Right. I hear you on that And one. then the unattainable texted me a few years after high school. Ended. <laughs> right? And then it and, fucks up your world. <laughs> and fell, fell right into my lap. It did. It fucked up my world. It's like, oh, god damn it. Right? Then you fell back into those feelings again. Like, you know what? I hear you, man. And this is the problem too. The, this, here's how you know: you'll, if you want to use me, call me when I'm when I'm drunk. So basically, he, he he texted me New Year's Eve when I'm drinking I'm drinking bourbon, I'm drinking whiskey, all the dark liquors. Dark liquors get me horny as fuck. No matter what, 
I just get my get so pumped up with whiskey and it's just like yep. no matter what it is I get I just get horny I don't know what it is yep. I think it's a classy a thing girl. it's a classy thing because I'm just sipping on it all day yeah so this fuck texts me I was like god damn it come over <laughs> so of course I try to like bang them <laughs> bang, bang, bang said person and then it's just like you know what I am I'm like and this, I'm going back I'm taking a time machine I'm like mm-hmm. I'm gonna give this person every fucking thing I have I'm like ready to pay right. I'm ready to pay credit his you know phone bill know, everything right. <laughs> absolutely everything and I'm like and I and unfortunately that person broke up with me because I would have gave the person everything I would have yeah. been in so much debt <laughs> because of this fuck <laughs> and then I'm like all right you know, first person leaves me, so I'm like, all right, yeah, I'm I'm needy. I need this person. So the person texts me about six months later or whatever. Like how you you know, long time no see or whatever. And I don't respond. There's where I stop giving. But then I'm like I go back in time and I'm like, do I was that a mistake for me not to have done that? In retrospect, I guess but then I guess I don't have retrospect because I didn't actually do it. I hate people when people say retrospect because they, they, they chose they chose something. You chose to do it. And you chose it, you fuck. It. You don't have retrospect. You swallow you, it. Yeah, swallow you're it. You're yeah. trying to justify your opinion. Yeah. So then I'm like, all right, do I go back in time and respond to that text? But at the time, I, I did this. I, I set a role for myself. I will take – You will okay, this is what I do sometimes. I will get one – all right, the first message I'll ignore – Second, if you right. send me a second message, then I'll then I'll I'll know you actually you know it's just drunk text me because I realize the person is kind of drunk text me kind of thing because they right. didn't text back. Right. Those are like even regrettable texts, and I, I do those a lot. <laughs> Almost every ta- every every interaction I do with humans is a regrettable yeah, one. Right. I know. In some I know. aspect. I know about that. So I'm like, fuck. Do I go back in time and 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 change my decision? I re- I really do hate that, but seriously, I hate. I blew my rod early with the do- with the with the punchline, but it really is a douchebag lottery. Do you take the douchebag lottery? Do you take in the douchebags and let them fuck you your your life up? Like Probably, uh, because deep down we're all kind of, you know we're kind of romantic and we kind of want to get that. <laughs> the so thing, I'm. I think we give up a little bit. I think we I think we all kind of sell out a little bit. I can't. I I have so much pride though. Like I'm, yeah, I'm, but I'm, you know what? You dropped it for that guy. It doesn't even matter. It's it's just like, I'm just say it. It's I mean, it doesn't mean that you know you're still an equal amount of asshole. I don't know what's going on with this? Podcast. I am very guarded. I am like a a fortress, and then right. I, sometimes I'll just open up but some of the drawbridges. So you open. You weren't a fortress. No, that not even then. Just in, just in general, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a I'm a building. I'm a I'm a castle. I have a moat mm-hmm. around me. Right. But sometimes I open up one of the, you know, not even the drawbridge, but I open up one of the windows and I'm just like, why did I open up the window? You just shat all over my living room. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's not like I'm impenetrable. It's not like you got in there, but just like you feel violated. You know what I mean? It's like you didn't get in. It's like it's a safe room. So you didn't get past that one room. Right. But just like, what the fuck? It's like you open the window for a second to look outside and take a breath of air and someone shoots a fucking bullet through your window and it's ricocheting. It's like, what the fuck did I just do? Was Why did I? Why did I do that? Is it worth it? It was it worth it for me to open up the fucking window? But maybe it was. Maybe it was a little bit, just to feel something different. To feel someone shit off the poop on well, my you walls? you would have already wondered. What if, you know... No, I don't wonder. That's the thing. I give up so many opportunities. I'm not a. I'm not really the person that goes back and, and regrets things. I okay, but then I, you did it. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm the opposite of what they say. I'm the person that regrets things that he does, not the things that he doesn't do, and not in a bad way. But like I regret, like, and it's not like it's a bad regret. Like I regret, you regret like, opening that window is what I'm saying. Oh yeah, like I wouldn't have. I can. I'm so like because I really don't need another person. Like I'm very, very asexual. Right. That's the thing too. I have to get into. I'm very asexual. I don't like so other people. Do a favor because then maybe it would have been like more of a high maintenance type of situation. But that's the thing for me too. It's like, okay, do I open up the bridge? And it's like, I'm I'm fine dying alone. I want to die alone in the best right. in the best way. Like I think that's comforting because I can control that. And then people, a psychologist is gonna, you know, or someone who thinks they're a psychologist is gonna hyperanalyze that. But I I'm I'm content with. I'm very easily content. I'm easily amused. I like, yeah. you know, I like friendships with people. I like, you know, just hanging out. Hanging out. Hanging out. But it's like, do I, 
why did I open up the? Because I want. To, I guess I want to see what you know. The grass is always greener on the other side, kind of thing. I want to see what Curiosity, the neighbors are looking at. You know, that's what it is. I just want to I, peek over at the neighbors and see it. You know, they're all having relationships and it's all fun and games. You know, I have. I, like, I, okay, it's like put it this way, babe. It's like when you see a button that says "Do not push this button." Right? What am I gonna do? I want to push that fucking button now. In pushing that button, I could cause lots of things could have happened, and then I regret it because then I touched it. How many people have touched it? Then there's germs. It's a whole thing. But I'm just saying, it's you, just, <laughs> you don't know what you're you don't know what you're saying. Don't lie. No, you push the button. You had to push it to see what would happen, good or bad. You had to find out. You open the window. But, but I, so I, I know, understand that, but I've done that like five times in my life. Like I was, I was over dating people when I was like 19. I'm like, this is it. I don't need, I'm like, I'm I don't need retired. anyone. I'm, I'm over it. <laughs> I just hate that shit. I don't know. It's a lot of work. It really it's is. It's a lot of work. It is. Relationships are a lot of work. So I don't, I'm not digging it. I don't do it. And the thing is too, I, I feel like I, I hate asking someone like, not that I, I don't, know, I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm probably not going to word this right, but I hate trying to ask because I'm very, very needy. Like yes. as close as I am in Vera, I'm very, you know, I, I set people away very, very easily and quickly. Mm-hmm. But as much as I do that, where am I going with this? I thought I had a point. <laughs> as much as I do that, I'm just like, I don't know. That's rough stiletto. I know. I, 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 I just, I'm not going to lie. I just lost my train of thought. Well, you, well, I know, but you know, you open the window and that's what happened, and you got shat on. It's fine. Yeah, it's shat on. It happens. It happens in relationships. You, you know, you have to be. That's the risk of a relationship. That's why I like being by myself. It's just easier. You know, I'm I, more enough to handle. I don't need a, anybody else's problems. You know, I had I had Tori Hunter Hunter in here last yesterday or you know a few days ago. Yeah, they're and, adorable. And that's all I want is just to find someone and just be content and married. Like I want that so bad. Like I, I, I that's the thing too. I want that. I want the opposite. I want both. You know, what I mean, I want to be either alone or I want to get married. Like now, and that's the problem too. Like when I started, like when I was dating, when I was younger, like that's the thing. I'm just like, do you know what? I and I would always put like a hundred percent into things just because I'm like either it's gonna go me I'm it's gonna come off as yep. me being needy or mm-hmm. me actually being in love with a person, and I really I like I don't have a lot of relationships. It's then, needy or being a doormat. No, because I no because again I again draw because you know, I admit draw that like I when I when I commit to a relationship I go a hundred in like I'm like right in and I I love hard and it's you know. That no, person I, never have to worry about anything. It just always blows up on my face. I equate it to being that being my give and take. You know, what I mean, there's always an even give and take in the relationship, and I, it's a little bit. I think it's a little bit different for me. But you know, that's all I want. It's just like, it's like when I get into a relationship, that's what I do. I, I go, all right, I'm gonna put myself all out there because I actually like this person. I don't date people. I don't. I'm not like really of into. Of course. I mean, I'm. Uh, ugh. ugh. But anyway, so I see Hunter and Tori in here the other week, and I'm just like, all right, that's that's so awesome. Yeah. But I'm like, that's like stupid. Why would you just like, even if you do have something like that, why would you ever not get married? Or why would you ever get married? So I don't, I really don't know. You know how we talk Nothing's about Nothing's right for me. Like nothing is right like for me it. at all. It just don't make sense. Marriage doesn't make sense. Being, it just, single makes sense to me. It's just, it's so much easier because I'm enough to, I can't, I don't even know who I am. I don't so know who I am. It's just easier just to deal with me because then I'm my own mystery. You know what I'm saying? No, I do. I'm curious about what's going on with me. And then, you know, other. and this is the thing. As soon as I get into that isolation mode and I feel like I'm good, then that's when everybody comes out of the woodwork and they all want to be, you know, um, we want to be all relationship. I don't stop. I'm just trying to get to know myself. I just feel like I'd never be happy because even if I do get into the player, I'm just like, all right, I want to be with someone. Like then I have to ask them to commit to me in the same way. I'm like, I don't, I can't exactly. stand asking because I'm just like, what if they say no? I don't. Yeah. I would rather not ask than hear, hear the words no. You know what I mean? Like I, yeah. I, 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 what I do to people when I start hearing bad things like on the phone, I as they're saying the thing, I, I, as I, I, I did this to Betsy the other day when she was, she said she had to go for a bleeding kid. I hang up on people before they can finish their words. I, I, <laughs> I swear to God, it's the most passive aggressive thing. 
<laughs> right. Like, bitch, all right, people, I gotta go. I'm like, all right, bye. And I'm just like, I fucking hang up as soon as possible. Like, someone did this to me the other day, like, oh, someone else is calling me. I'm, and as they're, and then, like, they tried to say, I'm not gonna be able to do something. And I'm like, as they're talking, I'm just, I hang up. Just click. I'm just like, do you know what? Nope. I hung up. <laughs> nope. Not today. I hate that so much. I hate not being in control. That's the thing, too. I'm very controlling. I'm very needy. Yeah. Like, I, I have to find someone that's really into me, for, like, me, my weirdness. Yeah. Somebody has to understand that, you know, I love affection and I love sex and I love being intimate. Don't, but don't fucking touch me all the time. Don't. Before I didn't put me out, me though. Shit. With, like, the pa- past few years with the show, like, I've been, like, my dry spell has been, like, over the past few years. Like, I broke up with that person and it's kind of been, like, you know, it was a year and then, like, I had, like, weird grandpa problems. And then after that, I was just like, all right, the show. Mm-hmm. So, like, I, I've opened up, like, my... If someone wants to know about me, all they have to do is watch my show, start to finish. I mean, I'm not right. going to say someone to do that. I also I don't you. want the person that I'm, I'm, in, I'm having a relationship to watch my show either. <laughs> so it's exactly. like fucked up. Yeah. I can't. I'm not happy. It's everything to avoid. But like, I'm not secretive in that sense. Like, where everything's out there. Like before, I was like, I had to keep a lot of my like weird mental stuff in, and like I, I hyper evaluate everyone. Like I am, I'm total. I should be a psychologist. I'm very, very hi- hyper, hypercritical. I'm an analyst. So I, I I can't and I hate that I don't want to ask someone for that as well like for them to be totally into me because I know there's a lot of people like me like all I want is like the Beth and Howard Stern relationship where Howard is the complete fuck and like Beth is in, getting in these hot outfits and like bending over like uh, showing her like vagina like while he's yeah. playing and he's ignoring her because he's playing fucking chess like that's all I want is someone to be and be all right with it yeah for me being a complete piece of shit because as, yeah. as self aware as I am I don't know a lot of things you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. All right, enough of that. <laughs> I just had to get that off. All right, I'm glad I can cross it off my list because I didn't know. I, yeah. I, I thought I was going to have to sit on this for a while. I know. You're going to explode. I know. But, you know, it's, it happens with friends. It happens with people. I mean, it's just like, oh, God. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> oh, God, today I was driving. What is life? I don't even know. Today I was driving <laughs> and... Uh, yeah. And I just started following someone because I was looking at my GPS and I just started following someone and I'm like, wait, this is like, you know, like in your mind, it's just like it's this wrong way and has like the arrows don't turn. And I'm like, well, I guess I can't turn there. But then the guy in front of me turned down the road. And as I'm turning into the road, I realized all the stoplights are turned the other way. So it is an actual road. It's like this, this you're not supposed to, it's like in a highway too. Like, 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 you know, like right when you get off the ramp kind of thing. So, was, so I basically was following some guy going down the wrong street. And I'm like shitting my pants. I'm like, oh, God. This is like five minutes before I got, I got to the studio today. So I'm like, I can't get pulled over. <laughs> uh, that was fun. Though. I almost got into a car accident. Well. At perfect timing. Stop lights, everything. But I'm just like, I'm, did you ever do it where you just follow some other retard? Yeah. Like I was following, I just really, I was following an old person. And we had, there was no way, like, and it was, like, so there was no way to, it wasn't just a one-way street, like, a little part. Mm -hmm. It was all these different turns that were all one way. So, um, luckily, I found that I just kept driving into, like, through stoplights. Yeah. That was fun. That's what happened right before the show. And then I went to the, uh, I went to the smoke shop because I had to get, like, my pipe screens and stuff. Okay, wait a minute. This all happened before the show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a lot of, I, uh, you know. I, you I, had a whole fucking day. No, no, no. I was, the whole show was just going to be me doing news and then maybe getting, getting into the wrong, wrong way street thing. But then I got into the douchebag lottery, which was, like, an hour in the making. So I'm shot out of a rocket right now. Right. Gotcha. I got, I got lots of things to get through. But, uh. So I went to the smoke shop this morning to get my my glass screens. I went for my water pipe. My uh, I got I wanted to get a little a new glass stem. I always break the little glass stems. Me and me and Sledder. Are... I don't think did they have medicinal in Canada? I don't think so. The what? What whatever. I'm a medicinal you know heroin yeah <laughs> heroin user. Heroin yeah. But I went to the store and I'm like and I I always go to this one little smoke shop. It's right by my house. Mm-hmm. It's basically like it's actually they're actually kind of it's pretty neat. It's like it's it's really weird because they sell everything horrible. They sell like drug tests, cigarettes, uh, like you know yeah, lottery lottery stuff. tickets. Um, yeah, it, they sell like the ready clean kits. Like yeah. they sell whip it like whip yeah. it things like yeah. everything. I'm like there's like a little I guess there's like a refillable whip it thing you can get. Like <laughs> last time I heard about whip it was like the 80s, right? <laughs> but uh, so I guess people are still doing whip it's. 
They uh, apparently, Red, yeah, they ready are. whip kids. Yeah, they are. <laughs> but uh, so I'm like, I need a glass stem for my water pipe, and that's what I said too. And you know, the dumb kid, he like starts showing me this entire glass thing. They had an entire glass shelf full of meth pipes, <laughs> and I know what meth pipes look at look like because yeah. of Breaking Bad. Yeah. They don't. They don't look like any. They don't. They look like a fucking. They look like a retard made a, a glass thing. It's just like it looks. It doesn't make sense. Like this. It's just a little like. It's really really scary, especially if you know what they are. So he starts throwing me all these meth pipes. I'm like, no, 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 no! I start, I start like screaming. I'm like, no, not those! <laughs> God, no, not those! It's like, what do you think of me? I'm on meth. I know I look like I have cancer, but fuck, this guy thinks I'm doing meth. Ah, uh, that's great though. <laughs> like, oh, I want to be like, no, not the meth pipes. <laughs> There's a lingo when you go in there. You, not you, those ones. You, I'm not that. Kind you say of glass stems, and you say water pipes. You know, some retards going, oh, I'm looking for a bong, man. <laughs> they're smoking their bong as they're going in. I was like, oh, no. I don't like when people have bad interpretations of me. <laughs> <laughs> unless you, unless you, well, it depends. It does. It depends. Uh, so what's new with you still? Anything exciting? Uh, well, I'm finishing up my birthday week. I'm still celebrating my birthday. What did you do for your birthday? You got, did you do a, did you do a pedicure? So did you do the fish thing? Um, fish thing. What no, do you no fish, fish thing? thing? Were they, have you have fish suck on your feet? I did not. Um, I, I feel did like you have, done that. Uh, I would have, but, but they don't offer that here. So I got my nails done, my fingers done and then I got my toes done and I'm sitting there and I did some snaps because the chair was amazing. The massage chairs in there, damn. Highly recommend them. And a guy was even there getting his feet done. So uh, I was sitting there getting massaged and everything like that. Got Everything was, I was ready to go and I went to try to pull my pant leg down over my calf muscle, yes. my leg, and I couldn't do it. I got stuck. Like, yeah. <laughs> I needed the staff's help to Wait, help what'd, me. What'd you, what'd you get stuck in? It was stuck like above my calf. You know, it's like right at your knee. I the pulled my pants love my pants up. It's a up like it's a massage chair. You're like uh, you're like pushed into it a little bit. Yeah, so you're pushing. So I'm getting massage. What happened? Like that. Did you did you like swell up or? No, it's because she lotion. She they give you a massage and they give you um like they lotion up so your they, legs. They like, they like squeeze you into this very small little chair. So they put no no no. They put me in this thing and they massage. And now I pulled my pants up all the way and I'm sitting in the chair. Now when I stood up, like I was trying to pull my pants down, but she put this like really like nice lotion on there, so my pant leg wouldn't go over my calf legs. So I was struggling, almost falling over, and I'm laughing my ass off. And then I had like two of the staff members say, okay, you're going to stand up straight and we're going to pull it down. It was. It's a life. It, it happened. It only happens to me. You know, it was a beautiful day. I was having a really great time. And of course, go figure, Stiletto can't put her pant leg down and needed help. It's a rough life. Two people, two women, two staff members. At Stiletto Supermom. Thank you. At Bad Beef. Bad underscore beef on uh, Snapchat. Patreon.com slash Bad Beef. What else? Um, find us in the snaps, man. Find us in the snaps. We didn't do any news this week at all. A guy in, a guy in a shirt that says, I'm the smart one, gets arrested for trying to hire a prostitute online. A guy in New Hampshire put up an ad on Monday looking for a hooker, an undercover cop <laughs> answered it and uh, met him for a $75 sex. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm willing to spend like... I'm willing to spend like you know, lo- you know, thousands of you on you for for just the you know the possibility of sex. This right? guy's spending seventy five bucks. Like, why don't we just have prostitution? Like, that's the thing though. I wouldn't want a different prostitute. No, I'd want like a dedicated prostitute. Yeah, <laughs> that's fully screened. I, I want a mail order bride or you know something yeah. like that. Hose down with bleach. I would do that. I'm I'm honestly I this is is you know fucked up as it is. I'm. I'm glad I didn't spend that money. I'm just gonna spend like ten grand on like a bunch of different like real dolls and just mm-hmm. put them all in my house. Go for it. <laughs> so it looked like a house of wax. <laughs> but sex dolls. So every room you go to, you can just have sex. Exactly. It's the life. I think. I think that's what you're looking for. But anyways, he was arrested in t-shirt. He says was wearing that. Uh, was wearing a shirt that says "I'm a smart one." So 
I like I like that one. The one that happens. That's why you never buy stupid shirts. Mm-hmm. I'm always afraid I'm gonna get arrested for no reason. Like I never do anything bad. Like I'm really actually a good person. But I'm like, oh fuck! What if I'm arrested and I have gym shorts on, or you know, like just like I just wear weird shit. Like you know, mm-hmm. middle of winter, it's like 40 degrees, and I'm wearing like a hoodie, gym shorts, sandals, like yeah. everything horrible for jail. Yep. Like really thin gym shorts. Like I, ugh. Like it was an it was a choice. <laughs> it was a fashion choice. This is my indoor. That gear. is my fashion choice. I get you. I hear you. But. Yeah, there's that. Let's see if there's anything short. Please catch a burglar because of his red rum neck tattoo. What do you think this guy was doing, Stiletto? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Which state was he in? <laughs> I don't think I have that. Uh, <laughs> but a guy robbed a house last month, and cops could see his red rum neck on a, a neck tattoo on a surveillance video. So the person he robbed recognized them uh, because of uh, the tattoo, and cops okay. arrested him. Awesome. He's got a lot of shitty tattoos, like the little sparkles. <laughs> Another thing to add to my porn dislikes, we have shitty tattoo porn. I should make a list. Shitty mm-hmm. tattoo porn, cock ring porn, shemel porn, and weird bracelet porn. Like, don't have weird bracelets on while you're fucking someone. It was really I weird. Never someone, even thought of some that. douchebag guy had like this, had this weird little like hipster, you know, Indian bullshit, you know, bracelet. Oh, and I was like, what the fuck? It is kind of uncomfortable because I've worn a watch and it's not. It digs. I but I, that's interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> All right. Very good. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Meerkat, Periscope, Ustream. Uh, I think that's it. Very good. Yep. Any last words, Stiletto? Uh, join me Sexualist Saturday on Saturday at 10 Eastern time. Very You'll good. see a link. There'll be a link. I don't know where I'm going to be. But right. it will be live on YouTube. Just say it. Programming note. Bad news. Well, but well, also well. good news. How am I gonna, How can I spin this? I'm going to make I'm gonna make this sound like good news. Well, you have to make sad songs. Sad- I'm going to make this sound like good news. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm going to make the replay playlist a public thing. So anyone who wants to can turn any device that can play YouTube into a 24-hour replay thing that automatically updates and goes for 24 hours and you can make comments and you can make comments at time points too so here's the thing youtube lets you do this cool thing where you can like insert time codes at specific points and make comments yes. so then what will happen is when people go to rewatch the episode it will almost be like footnotes you know what yes. i mean instead of the comments going away like they do on meerkat replays mm-hmm. they'll mm-hmm. actually be they'll actually be on there Yep. So you can go back and you can see like what you missed and what you realized or what other people realized. Mm-hmm. And then it'll be in an HD and then you can pause it and then you can, you know. I mean. But replays are going away on your <laughs> all, right, <laughs> all right, that's it, guys. See you next week. <laughs> but no, it's, it's going to be good, you know. It's fine. Yeah. It's where we're headed anyway, so. I mean, it's, it's the way we're headed. And then also someone, if they wanted to, could also, you know, make their own authorized unofficial beef stream if they wanted to. I'm not saying the replays have to go away. I'm just not doing it anymore. <laughs> so that means Jonathan could do it. Raymond can make his own thing. Raymond was the only person I was concerned about, so Raymond said yes. So He didn't scream no, so I'm alright. All right. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Raymond's pretty awesome, too. because he's Ray- got Raymon. It, it, I like calling him Raymond. I told him this already. It's only because I call. I, it's it's You know what? That's the thing about it's nice to be on radio is you we get to be the pronunci- pronunciation of words you know new words like we make up the words like and pronunciation you know like you know like meerkat we pronounce meerkat the way we wanted to right we can pronounce raymond the way we wanted to reinvented raymond 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 noodles raymond no d no d so raymond. is it is it raymond noodles ramen it's ramen Our, noodle yeah oh okay I like Ramon New. It's not spelled. All right, never mind. All right, guys. Goodbye. Bye.